please. Have you got the squad? It's on the way. <laughs> uh, silly me, I thought you'd have got it and they'd be, uh, you'd be asking me questions about it, so I can, uh, I can read it to you off my phone if you like. That's uh, appropriate. Is that the easiest way rather than go off checking emails and find the account? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no problem. Sorry, lads, I thought you'd all have it and they'd be ready to ask me questions about mm -hmm. it, so... It's the digital age we live in. Well, that's just as well I'm looking before, man. <laughs> uh, goalkeepers, Kieran Westwood, Dan Randolph, and Mark Travers of Bournemouth. Uh, defenders, I'll just give you the squad as it comes. Matt Doherty, James Coleman, Shane Duffy, Richard Keogh, John Egan, Ender Stevens, Callum O'Dowda, Alan Judge, Alan Brown, you maybe have heard already that he's, uh, he's injured, but uh, anyway, he's in the, in the initial squad, so I might as well tell you. Jeff Hendricks, Conor Huron, Glenn Whelan, Harry Arter, Ronan Curtis, who again, you know, he's been injured, Bobby Brady, James McLean. James Collins, Tom McGuire, Shane Long, David McGoldrick. I believe that's 23. So James Collins, first call up. You say to yourself, and you were impressed with him for doing well and he's scoring goals. Yeah, absolutely. He uh, got the TC, Robbie, Robbie to watch him. He's got 20 goals, I think, this year. He's, uh, He's been about a bit. He's got a good goal scoring record wherever he's been. So yeah, he's, uh, he's something different to what we've got. Anyone like to offer the first question? Uh, yeah, McCoy. Hello. Hi. Um, so Who are you? Sorry, I don't know your name, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I've mean, met before, I'm sorry. I can't remember <laughs> everybody. Um, so you were speaking in the last press conference about uh, Glenn Whelan obviously you told him yeah. he wasn't retired and actually what he originally said was that he wasn't retired but he, he would accept that he's not going to play a massive role and, so you've also got him and Conor Warren in the squad but are you looking to possibly maybe play them too as a partnership um, over the coming weeks? Um, well considering if, if you consider that if we get them on the 17th and we train on the 18th on the Monday uh, so the lads have been together, but I've not been with them, and I think any any sort of, uh, don't, please don't take it as rare because I'm saying it, any sort of partnerships that people have got that, that uh, uh, they can take onto the pitch would be of a benefit, I've no doubt. Any relationships that we've got at club level, we understand each other, the way they play. Um, I see Glenn came on last night, kind of played. They're both playing games, which is... You know, it's such a, a good start anyway. Um, and yeah, Glenn is, he's playing as well as anybody in the championship and a lot of the players come from that league. Yeah. Uh, how are you finding now, time now as a back as international manager over, over the last week? I remember last week you said that, you know, you haven't had any time with them on, on the field. How have you found, found it over the last week with the lack of time that you have with the players now come up to the game compared to obviously club matching when you with them every day? I still, can't, I still can't answer that question because I've not had any time with them yet. So I'm, st I'm still in the same position as I was last week. Yeah. But I've not had any time with them. So until I do, I can't answer that question, I'm afraid. Yeah. I hope you understand that. I can't. I'm, I'm still in the same position as I was last week. Yeah. I'm, I'm still looking at them and watching them play as I did last night. But now I see them on the pitch. But I know about the players. Having watched them, I know about them. but. Actually, being with them and interacting with them, I've not done that yet. Do I don't think that will go. Do you already have in your mind the starting eleven and passing the course to Gibraltar uh, next week? Yeah, yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. Would you say it, it would be similar to the one against Georgia, or are you more likely to uh, be the strongest team against Georgia and um, maybe play fringe players against Gibraltar? You are kidding me, on that. <laughs> Am I as green as I'm cabbage? You know what? <laughs> well, well, I'll answer your question. I said, deserves it. You've asked it. So, no, we want to go and be 
Gibraltar because that's our first game. And any any trade lesser than anybody else would deserve if I got anything, you know, any backlash from it. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Absolutely not. I want to go there with the strongest team I can play <coughs> in that game, and then I'll consider Georgia. Thanks very much, mate. Pleasure. Anyone else before we break into the groups? Oh, sorry. Just ask yeah. Obviously, you spoke about uh, partnerships there. Uh, Ennis Stevens and John Egan, there's six PG club amounts um, from the last six. Is that something you're taking into consideration as well? Yes. Yeah, it is. <coughs> yeah. Uh, and how are they impressed that they did by that? Sheffield United have been excellent all season long. And, uh, John Egan's pretty much played in the centre most of the season. And, and just played on the left because Jack O'Connell plays alongside him if we're going to be, uh, that's the, he's the left footer that plays there. But they're playing in the same, well they play back three Sheffield United, it's hardly a back five. But I've been impressed with the pair of them, they've both done very, very well there. David McGoldrick as well, playing in the back. They're a great season, they're all playing well. Yeah, and if you spoke obviously there about back three, is that something you maybe took into consideration considering? And the Stevens on one side, and you know, Matt Hardy or James Fallon on the other side. I haven't discounted it, but I'm not, I'm not thinking about that at all. No. Uh, they're both full backs, both playing wing back, both started <coughs> as full backs. Uh, it's nice when you can be adaptable, to be quite honest. If you've ever had to do it, I know I've got two capable wing backs. Okay, and lastly, have you, have you decided on your captain yet? No, I'm not. Uh, and if I had, I wouldn't be telling you before I told him anyway. So, uh, a bit like the two lads who are not coming in, I don't think. So, Alan Brown and, and Roland Curtis have both got injuries. I'll be replacing them, but equally, I won't be telling you I'll be replacing them until I told them. So, uh, no. I just meant that the top in your head, I wasn't actually expecting to reveal it. There's lots of things in my head you don't want to know about, let me tell you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> okay, anyone else then before we break into the groups? All good? Okay, so Daniel is going to look after the daily papers. We're going to uh, stay here, Daniel, or go next door? Which next? We're going to go next door, so all the daily papers, if you can go with Daniel. Oh, sorry, Colin, just can, just can I just clarify for a minute? Just, just, you, you say you're going to be replacing uh, Curtis and Brown, so they're, they're, they're not going to be involved. They, 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 they've just been named because the squad was already done, I think. That was the squad, but uh, Ronan, there's oh, no chance of being involved. He's, he's amputated, he's been, then he's had it sewn back on. Well, I felt I was pretty stoic in my football career, but I don't think I've ever been playing with that. I mean, time you bang your hands and fall and balls hitting it, not, not a chance. Yeah. So, I don't think that's, that's a runner. And, uh, I spoke to Brownie this morning, I don't think he's, they're not optimistic about it. So he was going for a scan, so I need to wait, but I'm not optimistic about it. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? All good? So the ladies can go with Daniel and then we'll start out the, the going order from there on. Uh, Sean was going to say here, so if anyone has a question for Sean or for the FBI itself, give me a Thank you.